Mackey Motors in Lake City is the place to find new and certified used vehicles along with a knowledgeable and helpful sales staff. Find new roads at Mackey Motors in Lake City. Michael Pottebaum with the Kemper Boys Cross Country team joining us here today after another outstanding race over here at Dennis and Schleswig. I think I had you third here today, maybe fourth. How did you feel out here today? Uh, I felt that today was just a really warm day for running and competition was really, really quick and today it was just a hard and fast course. You said you didn't have anything left when you crossed the finish line. Uh, was this one of the toughest races you had to run in so far this year? Uh, yeah, it would definitely be one of the toughest ones so far just because of that big hill and then all the downhills and uphills and going on the concrete and rocks and whatever. Saw you as you were warming up with your teammates. How were you guys getting prepared? You had the earbuds in. You kind of looked like you were pretty focused today. Uh, basically, just I kind of stick to the same routine every single race, do half a mile to a mile of warm up and then listen to music, try to get myself completely locked in and ready to go. Mike, you're ranked right now. Does that put pressure on you to go out and perform and be one of the elite guys at every meet? It uh, puts a little bit of pressure just so then I know that I have to try to maintain my position, if not get a little bit higher up in the rankings. Do you feel like you've been able to do that since jumping into the rankings? Uh, it kind of just all goes on the course. I mean, these past couple courses have been a little bit more hilly compared to normal and a little bit harder courses. So, Take us through the first mile. Good start for you today, and how would you feel that first mile? Uh, I felt like the first mile went pretty good. I felt pretty strong. Uh, kind of just put myself in a spot where I could see the leaders and kind of stay up in that top three or four people. Were you able to see the leaders all the way through? I mean, I know sometimes when you get into the hills, it's probably hard if they're up and you're, you know, at the bottom, but were you able to keep them in your vision all day? Uh, I was able to keep them into my vision for just about that entire part until that downhill slope at the way end where it kind of curves to the right and those other guys were just too far ahead that I couldn't see them. I know you were sitting, I think, fourth as you came towards that big hill. I was down here kind of towards the finish line waiting for you to come across. You had a guy in front of you. I think you caught him, though. Where did you catch him? I caught him right on that uphill. I just kind of put my feet down and kind of grinded up that hill, and it paid off. So, How'd you finish after that? Did you feel pretty strong, or was that the part that maybe kind of took the most out of you? Uh, that was probably the part that took the most out of me. After that, I was kind of just making sure that I could keep just enough of a lead in front of him so that I could finish in front. How strong did you feel at the finish line, even though you said you had nothing left? Did you feel like you closed out pretty well? I felt like I closed out pretty well, mainly just because of that downhill. You just get all your momentum going, and you just kind of carry yourself through the finish. Well, I tell you what, great job out here today. Another outstanding run for you. Appreciate you joining us. Best of luck the rest of the way. Thank you.